Now, one of the things that comes up with advanced actions as well is that you've got all these variables that you create. Sometimes you're keeping track of whether a button's been pressed, or sometimes you're storing, you know, some user interaction data. Uh, there's a lot of different things that can be going on there. Uh, so one of the things that you can also do is go into your project drop-down menu, go into variables, and you'll be able to see all the variables that are used in your project. So if you select one, like such as this one here, and you also have a usage button similar to advanced action. So I can see that, oh, in fact, this one is being used uh, for this particular uh, advanced action, submit question one. So I don't want to delete that one. I do know ahead of time that I've got this uh, variable here, this set of variables here, tracker one, two, three, and four, I've labeled them. So I can check their usage and it will again give me that notification that the item is not currently in use. Uh, and again, I wouldn't necessarily wait until uh, the end of the project. As I'm working forward, once I know that I'm not going to be using this particular variable, it's a good best practice uh, to delete those as you come up with them or as you come up with new variables that you're going to be using in their place. So in this case here, uh, I'm just going to select that and click uh, remove. And I'm going to do it again. I don't need to check in this case. I know that all four of those can be deleted. So I can go ahead and close that. Now I've, I've eliminated those variables and again, uh, if I pick up this project six months from now, um, you know, or, or uh, in a year from now, of course, I'll know that they're, you know, I don't, I, everything that is in a project file will be uh, up to date and in use as well. If you thought this video was useful, please share it with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, consider hiring me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that helps you achieve your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com, follow me on Twitter at CaptivateTeacher, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.